Hello, this is Little Lao Wow coming to you with another uh, SD2 commentated replay. And um, uh, I haven't cast much recently, but this is my first cast after the patch 1.3, um, which has a lot of changes to the uh, user interface for replays. Um, just as you can see, first thing, a lot. I know a lot of uh, commentators have talked about this before, but. I'll just say it again. Um, up here in the top right hand corner there is uh, there are uh, the resource tabs for both players are shown um, and uh, another interesting thing is there's on the uh, on the uh, display uh, shortcuts here there's also these new um, displays uh, you, as you can see name panel minerals etc and so for example if I go control N you have um, the names CSO Flumby versus one Sonky and um, interesting, I, interesting thing I learned here after reading that conversation also having prior Warcraft 3 knowledge is that um, this is this player over here the red Terran is the real uh, Sonky from Warcraft 3 many people have known him from the uh, I think the clan was SRS or something like that, STS, Sonky. Um, so he's a professional uh, Warcraft 3 player, and I believe he played humans. So, um, yeah, it'll be nice to see a game from him. Um, and so this will be a mirror matchup, TVT. Um, and Flumby, as you notice, is n has also joined a team. The team, this is a semi-professional uh, StarCraft team, CSO. So um, I looked up Sonky and he was about three, he was somewhere around the range of 3k masters before the patch and Flumby was near 3.6 or 7k um, in masters. So this should be a very high level game and um, both players just starting out here, uh, standard one racks. <laughs> um, and this map is Shakur's Plateau, which actually had a recent change to it where there used to be backdoor rocks here leading to this middle expansion. And then, excuse me, um, there would also be backdoor rocks here, so it would connect the two bases. But um, this backdoor is now gone, and um, instead the rocks are here leading to this kind of natural third, uh, third base here. So you can still get to this expansion, but even if you break down these rocks, you won't be able to get into the base from the back. So that's just an interesting new feature for uh, Shakira's Plateau. Um, and Flumby is opening up with a Rax and a Factory, and so is Sonky. And um, Sonky has both gas down as well, uh, and Flumby has the same build. So basically we're seeing these almost mirror build here. Um, just a slight variation, uh, supply depot timing and so forth. Um, and I do believe both, both players have scouted each other. Um, Flumby is putting down his expo here after his first racks and his factory, and that scouting uh, SCV went down. But um, Sunky taking the uh, watchtower with his marine, which is uh, very good because then he can he'll have you know prior knowledge if uh, Flumby tries to push out here or anything. But I don't know if Sunky saw that expo or not. Uh, yes, he did. He's seen the expo and both the uh, barracks and the factory so he knows exactly what's going up for right now the 111 build um, as you can see the starport's going up here for both players um, Sonky lifting off here from his uh, tech lab with his factory so we might see um, banshees whereas um, Flumby is going quick tanks here getting tank tech and a first tank but he might switch these off I don't know um, probably not. He's probably just going to go straight medevacs. Um, but Flummy is getting his expo up, whereas uh, Sonki is not. Uh, not yet. So we're probably going to see some early aggression with these Banshees. Um, um, and But Sonki is also getting tank tech, so this is very standard from 111. Um, and yeah, there's actually a Viking on the way, so Flumby. Uh, I think he scouted, yeah, he scouted the 111 build here. So he probably knows that a Banshee is on the way. So he's um, just preparing ahead and getting a Viking out because that Banshee's not going to do anything once it pops out against a Viking. 
Um, and even if there's cloak, which there's not, um, Flumby should have a scan. So Flumby has his expo up. Right now on the income tab, you can see that um, Flumby is slightly ahead in harvesters, but the fact that he has a second base up means that he'll be um, that much farther ahead. And he's just sieging up here, um, kind of just going turtle time here um, until he can macro up. And here comes the push out from Sonky. I don't think he'll be able to get in with these two tanks and tank tech up here. Um, as he won't be able to spot, he can spot the high ground with the uh, Banshee, but I don't think he has enough units here. Um, as a Viking will counter the Banshee, and the tanks will take out the Marines, and these three Marines are just um, filler units here. Yeah, and the Banshee is probably going to go down here eventually, um, but it falls, uh, Sonky falls back with his Banshee. Um, he, Sonky is continuing to stream units down here, while I would like to see Sonky put down an Expo here with his 400 minerals while he pushes out with that Contain. Um, so we'll look for that, and back on the production tab, we see that Flumby is getting missile turrets up just for the potential uh, potential cloaked banshees. But actually, Sonky snipes one um, one tank here, um, spawning the high ground with the banshee. Um, but another tank is already out. Very few marines on the field for uh, Flumby, but um, nonetheless, these tanks should be able to hold with this um, missile turret support to defend against the banshees. Um, so now Sonky's coming with these banshees. He's gonna try and pick off the tank, but with that missile turret there, oh, he's just out of range of the missile turret. He gets the gets the tank, but loses Banshee in the mix, and Flumby picks off the next tank. So these tanks are in the main base, are in the uh, expo, but um, Flumby will have enough units to take this out. Just um, forced to pull off some SEVs uh, to defend against this, but yeah. This, uh, bringing down the, putting the Viking in assault mode to, just to get that extra DPS. Um, so Flummy losing a couple of probes there to the tank, but shouldn't be too much as they're both even in harvesters. And now Sonky is getting his expo up. I would have liked to see this expo a little bit earlier when he pushed out, because um, he could have had it up and running by now. But uh, maybe he just wanted to pump more units. Sonky adding um, two more barracks down here. Um, his extra unit production facilities for his expo and another factory. So he's going to go some biomech build with um, medevacs. Um, whereas Flumby has not added any production facilities yet, getting his double refinery, so he's just producing off these this 111 right here. Tanks, Vikings, and Marines, which is very standard for TBT. Uh, actually, I'm a Zerg player myself, so I don't know as much about Terran, because Terran's my worst race. But from what I watch and see in here, Vikings and air superiority is very important in TBT because if you can, if you have more Vikings than your opponent, you can just take out the medevacs um, of your opponent, and their bio is not as powerful. Um, so, yeah, right now Sonky's just um, pumping medevacs for his Marines um, off this reactor uh, barracks, and saying uh, that's a nice build, just kind of complimenting. Flumby, <laughs> he says, I made it myself. Um, so right now on the income tab, um, Sonky's actually ahead in, uh, no, I mean, uh, excuse me, Flumby's ahead in Harvesters, um, and it's just mackering up here. Um, I would like to see him put down some more production facilities, because he can definitely produce off more, I feel, after he um, maybe gets some more SCVs, he can definitely produce off more um, facilities, but right now he's just focusing on these, still macroing well though, keeping his resources down, and um, so yeah, he has these uh, two turrets at his main, and two turrets at his expo should be enough to deal with, oh, these are not banshees, hello, these are medevacs, a drop coming on the top side here, and actually Flumby is not in position to defend this, as his main army is in the middle of the map pushing out, so this could do a lot of damage. Um, unless one of these medevacs gets picked off. He's got a drop, and he and actually drops the two tanks, sieges them up, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Flumby has to rush back to his base. Actually, Flumby's deciding to go for a sort of base trade, maybe, um, is assigning, deciding to attack because he knows that the army of Sonki is in his base, and so it won't be here to defend, and Flumby going to move in here with his tanks, going to do some damage of his own, and, but right now all the SCV's force will be pulled off the line. Um, supply depot's going out, going down, very important because then Flumby will not be able to reinforce his army. But actually, if Sonky goes gets these three production facilities, Flumby will not be able to produce at all. But right now, since he's supply blocks, he's not able to produce. But um, Flumby coming in here, going st straight, forces the lift off of this command center which is being repaired. But now he's going to the main base and just wreaking havoc. He's gonna, he's looking to just take down anything he can. Supply depots, 
production facilities. And Saki calls GG, maybe maybe preemptively, but yeah, with only two tanks left and a Banshee, he's not going to be able to kill this base. Um, and Flumby actually able to defend there and take down all this. Um, yeah, so actually Flumby giving him a few pointers. Um, don't go all in at the start. And Sonky saying that's not really an all in. It was a push on a fast, fast expand, but that expansion I think could have been much earlier. And Sonky GG's out of the game. So um, this air superiority didn't really come into that much of an effect um, as the game was relatively short. Um, and uh, I just want to look at, take a look at the APM tab. Very high APM for both players. As I mean, Sonky was a professional. Oh, Warcraft 3 player, and Flumby's a very good player himself, um, in Masters, High Masters. And, um, so, this game was, I think was Season 1, yeah, Season 1, but, um, very high level game. Um, and Sonky has a GG here because he just can't defend against this army, and his drop force was killed, um, by reinforcing units by Flumby, as well as having to pull off SCVs off the line just to take care of those last few tanks. So yeah, um, thanks for viewing, and I uh, hope to get more casts out later.